you know, let's talk about you. Like, what got you into, or was there a moment, I guess I should say, was there a moment that in your head, like, said, this is what I want to do? So, here's how my, you know, indie start came about. I have a mutual friend uh, who has a mutual friend at work, and and they always talk wrestling. Now, this guy and I have attended shows together. We've been to, we went to NXT together when they were here in Spartanburg, and and me, we we loved it. We were four rows from the ring. We sat right behind where commentary would be. I mean, it was a great experience. It was an awesome show. Uh, one of the FTR guys. It was where he got his jaw broke. Um. Uh, by Shinsuke Nakamura, mm-hmm. uh, Bobby Roode was there. You know, it was it was a good show, solid. Uh, anyway, he got to talking with the guy at work, saying, "Man, you need to check out my buddy. He makes all these wild memes and does all these conversation posts. I bet you he would get involved with this with this charity show you're getting ready to do. I bet you he'd do it for nothing. I bet you he would just love to do it." Well, we ended up talking back and forth and he pretty much told me the guy's name is uh kylan disney he's a referee here in the carolinas uh great man Re- really is a really nice man um we ended up talking and he basically told me he said you know what buddy you put your money where your mouth is i was like no problem jack i said like, you want to give me some flyers or, or what do you want me to do he goes well you're just going to promote the show i'll send you the flyers here you you just share them online and I was like, hey, man, you want me to go to uh, the place where you're going to have the Barbarian and Lodi show up and sign autographs? You want me to go there and film a commercial for it? He was like, you'll do that? I'm like, yeah, I don't care. Sure, go ahead. I got you. So I just went and filmed a commercial, made it real quick, and bloop, here it is. And we kept sharing that video saying, you know, come here to this oil change spot. Get your oil changed while you're here, you know, meeting the stars, meeting Lodi and meeting barbarian so it was neat yeah. um all of a sudden he's like hey we should we should broadcast this charity show out live i was like perfect give me the gofundme and i'll even put the gofundme on the video that never happened they never even created a gofundme for the guy but it was a cancer benefit well we're filming a uh an outro the ring announcer was in there bill hazelwood the guy who booked the show out Kyle and Disney was there and myself um, and our mutual friend was my camera guy that night. So it just, it worked out. It's four hours of me doing really bad commentary is what I'm going to tell you. Cause I, that was my first time being at an indie show. My first time to ever doing commentary or anything like that. I was, I was dumbfounded. I had no idea what to do, but especially doing it alone. Think about this. Doing commentary alone is, is gotta be, you got nobody to talk to. You're essentially yeah. talking to yourself. I'm right. not Joey Styles. I am not Joey Styles. I never would claim to be. That dude was phenomenal. Um, but so all of a sudden we're at the end of the show, and I had already told him I'm not accepting anything for this. I don't. I don't want anything for this. It's this is charity, man. And it's a cancer benefit. And cancer hits me, or uh, really close to home. I have buried both of my parents to cancer. So, oh, right. Uh, I was. I was 18. I had just turned 18 when my dad passed away. And then six years later, my mom passed. Oh, and when I say six years, six years and seven days later. Wow. Or wait a minute. I can't count five years and seven days later. Sorry. Five years and seven days later, she passed away. So, right. Uh, you know, you got to think 18 years old, you're, you, you're an adult, but you're, you don't know anything at 18. Yeah, of course. Um, so, and my dad was always heavily, my, both my parents were heavily involved in charity work, you know, the American Legion Post and veterans things. And I always was contributing to, uh, to those events that they were in. So I always knew to give back. Anyway, so we're standing there cutting this video at the end of the show, thanking everybody for tuning in and thanking everybody for being a part and supporting it and everything else. And, they hand me an envelope and I, I don't know what this is. You've taken this back. I didn't understand what the envelope was. I don't know what was in it. I know that it was not thin. I know that much, but it, it you know, that's not for me. This is, I did this for this guy. 
and me and my buddy who did the the recording you know him and i went and got something to eat afterwards just him and i and hung out and talked about everything but dude, i'm not here to get paid this is this is not why i'm here uh that was my first thing that was in 2019 two months later my phone rings or not even two months later my phone rings hey uh how do you feel about ring announcing never done it before but i've had a live microphone in my hand in front of a crowd so i'm not bashful I can give it a go. I started DJing when I was 16 years old. So I, I played music and, you know, did the wedding introductions and all that mess in front of the in front of the guests. I wasn't really bashful. So it kind of, it fit. Man, first time I ever got in that ring and I was like, what did I sign up for? Uh... First show, I mean, I didn't make any major errors. It's just you could tell I was stiff as a board. And now it's, man, it's like you wouldn't, it's not even the same person in the ring anymore. Uh, I've done, I've only done a couple of charity shows because it's whenever a charity show is going on that I can get involved in, I'm there uh, or there to help them. I was recently reached out to about one of uh, coming up and i told this this lady i said i don't need to be on the card i don't need to be booked i don't need to i don't need to ring announce this thing let me know what i can do to help you because this is for a cause i don't i don't need all the i don't need all the publicity out of it. it's not i'm not here for this i don't i don't do professional wrestling as a career Okay, I I do this as a as a hobby that I take seriously and enjoy. I'll I'll put four hundred and fifty five hundred miles on my car in a weekend going to one show. Been there, done that. That doesn't phase me. I'm here because I enjoy. 